I'm authentic. Who are you? I'm authentic. Who are you? Name, no what up, people? It's Authentic Benny, and I'm back with another video, man. And today we headed to New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, a couple weeks back, I told y'all about this crack I got in my glass, man. You know, in the top part of my glass, had a crack there. And just recently, if you look here, I had a crack going all across here, man. And coming all down there. So I got the car in autopilot right now. You know, that's why I'm all over the place with it. But it looked like we got a big old storm coming, as you can see up there. It's crazy. We on a bridge right now. As soon as we get off this, we will be in New Orleans. But Tesla gonna have to replace my whole windshield and also the whole top sunroof part uh, of my glass. It's crazy, crazy expensive these pieces of glass because this one got some kind of UV, UV protection, some, some kind of stuff, some kind of technology they use so they can't just go with any kind of, any type of glass. And the one in the front is just regular glass, but you know, it's Tesla, it's still going to be expensive. So I'm headed up there right now to get these things replaced. I just wanted to make this video because this is what people don't think about when it comes to Tesla. I gotta drive to a whole other city over an hour away just to get my uh, just to get my windshield fixed. Now, if I was with in, in any other car, Safe Light would have came out to my job. Safe Light would have came out to my house and got the job done. I had it done before. Insurance covered and everything. They come out, fix it while you at work. Why you in the house chilling with no problems? Tesla really gotta do better with this, man. They really gotta do better. So while I'm down here, we will be going to the new supercharged station in Metairie. And, uh, I don't know, I was gonna be walking around the borders and all that, and where we can sightsee or whatever, but man, look at that weather, man. Look at that rain all of a sudden. So, I don't know, we gonna play it by ear. The rain clear up, then we gonna get out, you know, see what they got to offer. If not, then we gonna chill at the Tesla um, service station, whatever you call it. This is my first time going, so uh, we gonna see. We gonna experience this thing together. Man. Let's go. All right, so I don't show y'all enough of this, but I just want, you know, I want a lot of people ask me um, how you find supercharged stations and all that. So. I'm actually en route right now, as you can see, New Orleans, en route to the uh, Tesla service station. So let's say, you know, my battery was going down or whatever, I needed a charge, which I'm still on like 69%. Um, I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. I don't, but let's just say I did. What I do is I hit the screen, hit that, and then boom, there's one on the way to the center. So all I gotta do is click that, go, boom, and it's taking me to the Tesla supercharge station. You know, just as simple as that. That's how it works when you're on the road. And they always in road. They always right by the interstate. So you never have to worry about that. And we actually are gonna go there right now. It's um it's um uh, 12 minutes away. So I'll pick y'all up when we get there. They just built up. So it's supposed to be the fastest out right now. So uh, let's go. Alright y'all. We just made it to Tesla as you can see. Boom. Got it up there. Got the car out here. I'm about to take it in. I'm still not sure how this works. 
But uh, we about to see what's up, man. We gonna see. Let's go. All right, Jack. So this is the Tesla um, charger right here. Some people get this. It's like five hundred dollars, but I just made my own at the house. I just came to drop off my car. Okay. I had a service appointment for my windshield and uh, top glass. That's Mr. Benny? Yes, sir. All right. Never saw one of them, man. That the old is, roaster. That is the, up, the original roaster. Man. This is from Prairieville. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nice right there. So we just got everything checked in. Real nice people up in there, man. Tesla New Orleans. So right now, I just gotta get my backpack out. You know, get that backpack out because I thought I was gonna be, I thought I was gonna be chilling in New Orleans the whole day, but turns out I'm not. We about to head home because they giving me a loaner, man. You know, they didn't have to do that, but they giving me a Model S. For the weekend man that's like the most that's like the perfect thing that could have happened you know so um i'm gonna go ahead and get everything out and then we're gonna check out the guys uh model three up in here and then we're gonna pick up the model s let's go yeah a little way okay thank right, you all right thank you have a good weekend yeah, we're we're that 18s or 19. No, those are 19. okay Oh yeah, I love that black. You see how nice that looks? Oh man, that look good. That look way better than mine. Yeah. Oh, you got the reds too? I got the performance. Okay. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Same color. I like that. Yeah, because like what I did is the Model S color. Yeah. Which is the twin turbine uh -huh. wheels of the older ones. I just took a wheel that we had that was like damaged uh, and I told myself match that and <laughs> they match the color yes, because the, the new model s uh, performances have a uh, have a like a like a matte black right Which, matte black looks the, good um, too the plaids um no I think yours isn't yours matte black I thought it was like a well it looked kind of like a dark dark gray okay if you really look at it I'll, I'll, have, I'll have to go look yeah they, they changed the color over the, over the years, like the, I think the uh, original ones that came out were silver like that in the 20s, and then they right. went to like a smoky gray almost. I thought it was not black. Yeah. This is, is this it? Oh, I love that blue. Man. So this one's, this one's real clean. Now you can look around, it just has a, a little curb rash here and there. The body's real clean. So okay. Do you do YouTube with Teslas? Yeah, I do. Um, I used to have like a scat pack and a Hellcat. I used to like Dodge. Okay. When I got Tesla, it's been only Tesla. Okay. So, yeah, it's nice, man. I mean, look, Mike said, I was just talking to Mike. Uh -huh. He said he is planning on getting to your vehicle today. So okay. I told him, I said, even if they like work late and they get you done late, I told him, you know, communicate with you. Like if, I, if I'm not here, communicate directly. You know, make sure it's paid and then put it outside. So okay, gotcha. I told him that the weekend worked better for you. So yeah. we'll keep keep in touch, buddy. All right. All right, man. All right, Thank man. you, man. All right. All right. Yeah. I'll see you, man. You know the drill on this one. It's the it's the stock stock the same. Yeah. You just got your autopilots in the bottom left on this one. It's a little, little, little bit different. Okay. Um, but you should be good to go, man. All right. And yeah. Thank you. Got two hundred miles on. It. All right. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. And so, man, just like that. We in there and we out of there. If I can figure out how to work the wipers in this car, cause this, this is different from mine. I think I got it. Nope, it's <laughs> still rolling. But uh, we in the Model S, man. I gotta let the seat back some. Golly, boy. I don't know who was sitting up here. Let the seat down, let the seat back. Um, Y'all know I'm used to the tent. This car had got zero tent on it. Straight glass house. And I still, oh, there you go. Boom. Oh, boom. We got the wipers off. Uh, we good. We good, man. Um, 
as y'all can see this thing got the glass roof up top big big glass roof looking ridiculous man i love this car the model s fits me and suits me a whole lot better than the model 3 to be honest with you because I like big cars. I'm, I'm accustomed to bigger cars. And um, that's just what I'm used to. You know, the Model 3 is cool. It's perfect for daily driving. But it is small. It is small in size. And um, this, this is it for me. Um, I give y'all a full walk around. Like I said, I am going to the super supercharger station um, on the way back home, which I need to figure out how to put it up in here. But um, I will be going to that supercharged station to uh, just to see how fast it is because but this car, I'm still going to the supercharged station. It is full. It's 200 miles full. That's what I don't like, man. I get 300 miles in my car full. You know, that's how you know how technology changes. It's an older vehicle. But, um... 200 all you get is 200 miles man i wouldn't want to drive like that i'd be nervous as hell with only 200 miles but i guess it is what it is we gonna um pull up to the supercharger just to ride through see what we can see see what type of cars there there's no need for us to um to plug in or whatever because it is 100 but the battery is on 100 percent so ain't much more you can get out of that but i just want to see I like to go to different superchargers just to see what they got to offer. I would have liked to um, charge up at one just to see how fast it is, but like I said, can't do it because the car already full. Uh, maybe we'll be able to do it when I pick my car up over the weekend or on the way back or whatever. But um, yeah, man, I'll pick y'all up when I pick y'all up. So we're here at the Tesla Supercharger Station in Metairie. Finally made our way here. First, let me, let me show you how the, how the door open over there. Um, give y'all a quick overview in the inside real quick. Hopefully the AC ain't blowing right on the microphone because it's hot in Louisiana, man. But as you can see, I'm bumping that TI. Basically work the same as my car, but you got this big vertical screen instead of a horizontal screen. You know, you got music. You can see your maps up here. The maps pop up here once you're driving, and then you can see TI up there too. This is showing you your fuel range, which is energy, basically. Um, basically the same things that you see in standard cars over here. Op to open the door, you know, a lot of people probably won't know how to open the door, but as you can see all the way in the corner right there, you got this latch. Pull that latch, push it open, close it, you got this blended in well. That is perfect. Again, boom. Hop out. It's basically going to be the same way to charge the car up. But this one, you can't even tell what it is, right? So pull it off. These are brand new, by the way. Pull it off. Hit the button. You got a little bit of door there open. And then boom plug the thing in just like that but like i said this car is already full and of course it's free charging this car is already full though you get 200 um 200 miles with this car i'm not sure what the year is but i will look but door handles pop out so you can get them when you put the car in drive the door handles go right back in as soon as you walk up and the car is locked the door handles come out by themselves you just open the doors like that and that's all right man as you can see the wood grain up there the model s plaid that i had on this channel is a whole lot better than this a whole lot better but this thing ain't nothing to sleep on either you know it's definitely definitely pressure for real like i said quick walk around i love that blue um if i was to get the plaid It'll definitely be in this color blue. You know, as you can see the front end, you got ass suspension on the front. That way you can dig down deep and get them real, real good pulls. But yeah, that color pressure. I love the Model S, bro. The, the best part about this car is the front end for me. 
this the front end for me, man. That's hard, man. That's hard. Now, he should have had darker wheels on his car. I don't know why people go with them light, bright wheels like that. I just don't get it. I just don't like it at all. But that's what it is, man. Big old trunk. As you can see, big, big trunk, you know. And then you can lift this part up right here. Even more space at the bottom. Let's see how crazy that is. That's why. And you got an automatic latch. Hit that latch. Watch it go down as we walk away. And the front trunk. I didn't I never looked at it in the regular Model S. But the front trunk should be uh Let me find out how to open this thing because uh boom. It is a little different from my car. But the front trunk on the Model S Plaid that I reviewed on the channel, it wasn't that big on this car. About the same size. About the same size as it is in my Model 3 when you look at it overall, but that's what it is. I don't know why. I think Tesla could have extended the whole length of the, of the hood. But you know, for trunk space, they could have gave us that. But it is what it is, man. Pretty clean car.